For those of you following my channel, you know that I just finished my off-season preparation by doing small off for deadlifts and testing a new max. I'm pleased with how the results went and I'm excited to see how that new work capacity is going to go suiting me as I go into my contest prep season. The next thing on the horizon for me is Northern Nevada's Strongest Man, a contest in Reno, Nevada that's being thrown by Gary Montoya. He's a great promoter and I'm excited to do this contest. It's supposed to be a very heavy contest, which is exactly in line with the types of competitions I like. I'm not a big fan of rep fests where the winning number is 20 or 15 or anything like that, and I'm not a big fan of moving events, I'll admit it. I like events where I can plant my feet and just move heavy weights up and down against the force of gravity. My strategy going forward is brutally and dangerously simple. I just want to get stronger. And I know that's what everyone says, but I mean it in the truest sense. I'm doing no specific technique work, training for the events. I'm not even paying attention too much to what they are. I think, you know, there's a deadlift, uh, log press for the overhead, truck pull, probably going to be stones because there's always stones, and some kind of moving event. But my main focus is simply being hellishly stronger than everyone else there. I believe that that is the true essence of strongman. If you go to a contest, you're going to have unfamiliar implements. You're not going to be comfortable with where their center of mass is or what's the best way to grip that farmer, hand, farmer handle or this frame. And all you can do to prepare yourself is just being stronger. Now, I don't want to throw technique all the way to the wind. I believe that there's a certain level of familiarity that goes into helping people when training for strongman. But after you learn how to clean a log or... You know, do a continental clean with an axle, find what works for you on stones. There's only so far that can take you. There are two ways to move a heavier weight. You can either A, improve your technique, or B, get stronger. A is always something that we should strive for. We should never throw technique to the wind, but it can only help you for so long. Then the marginal gains start happening very, very quickly, and those tiny increments that you get from improving your technique become that much smaller. In the short run, you can have a huge increase in your weights because technique can change and your leverages can change, and all of a sudden you're lifting much more efficiently than you were before. But in the end, the stronger man I believe in this sport will prevail. By being stronger, you have the advantage when everyone else is unfamiliar. As long as your not technique isn't thrown completely out of whack and isn't just horrendous, strength can carry you in this sport. And I believe that this is the true nature of a strength sport. So prepping for this contest, going off that work capacity I developed from small offer deadlifts, I'm doing a ratio of two deadlift days per one safety bar squatting day. Um, I have an intensity or heavy deadlift day as well as a volume head deadlift day. And the difference really only being doing triples and then back down sets versus doing fives and then back down sets. My pressing is very simple. It's just bench and strict press. And as I get closer to contest, I may throw in some push press to reinforce that technique a little bit. Like I said, not throwing it completely to the wind. All I want to get out of this is preparing for nationals, and I believe if I have a strong showing in Reno and I can win that contest, I'll be comfortable going into nationals, I'll feel in place. If I don't perform as well as I'd like to at Reno, then it's a sign that I need to take another year to develop, get stronger, and become a better strongman before I test myself on that level. So in a few weeks, next few weeks, you'll see my training logs leading up to that point and my thoughts as well going into it. I'm excited to see how this all goes and plays out and keep you updated. Hopefully this leads to a road to nationals. For everyone watching, thank you for your support. Thank you for continuing to subscribe and follow this journey. And I hope to keep you informed on my way through it. Have a great day. Come on, A.B., one more.